Hello, and welcome back to the Snap Magic channel. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps of installing Mac OS 14 on a Windows PC. Don't miss out on any of our new videos. Click the subscribe button to stay updated. Download Mac OS 14 by clicking the first link in the description. Now download Belina Etcher to make a bootable USB drive. Once the download is complete, insert a USB drive of at least 32 GB. Keep in mind, plug a USB drive into a USB 2.0 port, USB 3.0 does not support. Now open Belina Etcher. Select Flash from the file. Go to Downloads and choose macOS 14. Ensure that the USB drive is selected. Click on Flash. Click Yes. Once the flashing is complete, download the CPU-Z software to figure out the code name of your processor. Now install the CPU-Z software. Click Yes and accept the license agreement and click Next, 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 Next and install. Close everything and then open CPU-Z. My computer uses a processor called Comet Lake. Now open the browser and download the appropriate EFI files for the processor. Here are the files for both desktops and laptops. I'm installing macOS on my desktop, therefore, I will search for the necessary files in the desktop folder. Here I found the compatible EFI file for the processor called Comet Lake. Click on three dots and download the file. You download file compatible with your processor. Now download Minitool Partition Wizard to assign a letter to the EFI partition. Install Minitool Partition Wizard. Now click Finish. Choose the EFI partition on the USB drive. Right-click and then select Change Letter. Click OK and Apply. Close Minitool Partition. Go to Downloads and unzip the EFI files. Now move this EFI folder to the USB drive's EFI partition. Windows will not allow you to access this partition, so download and install third-party software called Explorer++. Download 64-bit version. Unzip the downloaded file. Now run Explorer++ as an administrator. Go to Downloads, copy the EFI folder. Now open the EFI partition and paste the copied folder. Click Replace the files. Now close everything and restart. 
launch the boot menu by pressing the escape, F2 or F10 keys. Depending on the motherboard or computer's manufacturer, choose Open Core. Choose Install macOS Sonoma Beta. Select Language and press Next. Choose Disk Utility and click Continue. Show all devices. Select Disk to install macOS, and then click on Erase. Name a disk and click Erase. Click Done and Close. Select Install Mac OS Sonoma and click Continue. Click Continue. Agree to the license agreement. Choose the disk to install Mac OS and then click on Continue. The installation process will take up to an hour. During the installation, your computer will restart several times. Select a country or region and click Continue. Click Continue. Not now. Click Continue. Not now. Click on Setup Later. Skip. Agree to the license agreement. Now create a computer account. Enter your username and password, and click Continue. Continue. Select your time zone. Click on Setup Later. Choose your look. Open macOS Sonoma. Now open files and launch the Open Core Configurator. Mount EFI Partition. Enter the password you created in the previous step, and click OK. Now open the EFI partition on the USB drive. Move the EFI folder to your desktop's boot partition. Now eject your USB drive and restart the computer. You have successfully installed macOS 14 on your computer. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.